Hello and welcome to The Crypto Lifestyle, where we focus on decentralization, mass adoption, and other Bitcoin related stuff to bank us coin. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the XP Network, which is the first blockchain agnostic platform to build NFT decentralized applications. And if you guys didn't already know, my name is Connor and as you do know already, Francis is a very busy man and he's doing a lot to make the crypto lifestyle even more epic than it already is. So he's doing a lot behind the scenes right now along with a whole team of admins at the TCL. So I'm stepping in today to deliver you this content. So if you are new to the crypto lifestyle, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, comment on this video and share this with your friends. But for now, let's get into xp.network. <laughs> Crypto lifestyle, baby. So the XP network is going to allow anybody, you won't even need coding experience, to create and deploy NFT decentralized applications on multiple blockchains. They do have their sites set on the Polkadot network. They want a parachain. We're going to get into the literature that they, that they have in here. But they are very adamant about getting a Polkadot parachain slot. They're very confident about it as well. So we'd love to see a project with strong confidence in their product. So the XP network will be launching on multiple blockchains, but one thing to note that they are partnered with Diem by Facebook. So we're also going to get further into that in this video, but just know that this just means that they are going to be able to reach such a wide audience from the beginning because Facebook already has like over 3 billion people with a Facebook account or Facebook product account, as they say, whether it be WhatsApp, Instagram, etc. So literally, they're going to have a, a, a DM by Facebook wallet pop up on their phone and they're going to be able to instantly access these kind of decentralized applications for NFTs. So they're going for mass adoption here. So keep that in mind. We always look for projects that are going for mass adoption. So you're going to be able to design, deploy, migrate with or without code. So they're making it so if you're not really a technical guy, more of just a hardworking entrepreneur with really good ideas, you're still going to be able to have your ideas come to life with NFT decentralized applications without coding experience. Of course, they do have the option whether you do code already with Solidity, Rust, C++, any programming coding language, you're going to be able to build your smart contracts and your decentralized applications with this XP.network. But like I said, if you are non-technically savvy, not a problem. They're going to have a, a drag and drop plug and play interface for you to design your decentralized application. So they also do say here that you're going to be able to move your dApp to another chain with a single click. You're going to, you might be asking yourself, Connor, what chains are they going to be on? Great question. I'm glad you did ask that. So to start, they're going to be supporting 10 blockchains, including Polkadot, Elrond, ETH, Binance Smart Chain and Diem once it is released and others, Avalanche, Solana, etc. Um, but there's no limits to how many blockchains they can migrate their, their code to um, because as long as the chain allows NFTs, they're going to be able to migrate um, the decentralized application to that chain. So keep that in mind. This is unlike anything we've really seen. Um, it's going to be revolutionary technology and it's a really big project and a really big idea so i'm looking forward to see the execution of it all for sure so like we said it will be fully multi-chain you're going to be able to build and deploy nft dApps on any of the 10 plus supported blockchains of course including facebook's upcoming diem look we're very passionate about decentralization here on this channel facebook i'm not going to get too big into it but facebook decentralization they don't really stack up but that's a topic for another day. You know, I just have to say that because we are the crypto lifestyle and we are very adamant about decentralization. XP network is going to be decentralized, but you have to look at who they're partnered with. Just got to point that out. So Polkadot as well. So they are gunning for a Polkadot parachain slot. Thanks to Polkadot's sharded interoperability protocol, we can connect your NFT dApp to other blockchains such as Bitcoin and Ethereum so that you can maximize your outreach and monetization opportunities. So because Polkadot does have its interoperability protocol, you're going to be able to launch all of these decentralized applications on any blockchain. They are utilizing Polkadot's technology. As you guys know, I'm personally extremely bullish on DOT along with many of you guys as well that are watching right now and for good reason because Polkadot is what we have been waiting for a very for a very long period of time now and you know these parachains are finally about to get released the auctions the crowd loan these all started polka dot decoded is happening today as we speak kusama parachains are going live the hype is really building up for polka dot and this is a polka dot project so 
Really looking forward to this one. It's going to be an inclusive ecosystem. They aren't just looping in chains. They're building the largest NFT DAP ecosystem, one that will connect different protocols and remove the entry barriers for non-technical entrepreneurs. So let's get into what they are saying here with the ecosystem, because a lot of cryptos use the term ecosystem, and a lot of them don't really have the, the tech to back up that claim ecosystem. But XP Network is different, and let's talk about why. So... The XP network itself is going to be the nerve center of the whole organism. It's going to provide the ultimate toolkit for building NFT dApps for many use cases, including patents, marketplaces, insurance, royalties, reusable KYCs. Like these NFTs, they're going to have so many use cases that the sky is the limit. And even non-tech savvy entrepreneurs can tap into their their ideas and make them a reality with XP network. So also know that they don't offer business to customer products for end users and they won't have an NFT marketplace of their own, but they will be working with project teams to build such end user projects. Sounds like that might be for some regulatory concerns being that they are partnered with Facebook, which is obviously connected to the government. So product teams, these are developers and entrepreneurs who create B2C uh, business to customer NFT apps, marketplaces, fractional services. So that's another part of the whole ecosystem, the product teams. The next part of the ecosystem will be blockchain teams. The XP network team will be working closely with developers of individual blockchains to construct cross chain bridges. These are required to transmit assets and smart contract instructions from the Polkadot parachain to other blockchains and back and forth, of course. Next part of the ecosystem is going to be the third party bridges. So if someone builds an effective solution to connect Polkadot with another chain before we do, they'll happily integrate that into uh, the party bridge. Also, there's gonna be oracles for external data. There's going to be validators in the XP network. So if you're gonna be able to stake, of course, and these nodes will ensure fair exchange that the parties in any NFT transaction both get, of course, what they expect. Another part of the ecosystem is going to be the third party developers. So in the future, independent developers might want to build additional modules and integrations for the XP network to expand the range of use cases. And of course, NFT creators, artists, influencers, designers, they are mentioning in their white paper, um, we can go over here. They are mentioning the rise of NFTs and how a bunch of big celebrities, they give the names of Lindsay Lohan, Pamela Anderson, Paris Hilton, um, very interesting choice of celebrities. But yes, they are going for mass adoption with this project. Don't get it confused. And also we can see that right here in the white paper as well, they mentioned how they're with Facebook and DM. So essentially 1.7 billion people are unbanked right now in the current traditional legacy financial system. And currently 3.14 billion um, people have a Facebook account. So what's pretty much gonna happen is like they say it right here, a Facebook related account that could potentially, potentially include a DM wallet making DM Association the most influential financial institution in the world. And then they also say over here, I do have to bring this up because I, I just kind of find it funny. Their words are the most influential financial institution in the world. And then they go over here to say that DM is collaborating with central banks. So. <laughs> funny how that works right of course it's going to be the most influential financial institution in the world but that of course is a topic for another video so moving on however let's talk about the tokenomics of this project so essentially there's going to be a 1 billion total supply and they will be raising 5.25 million dollars and essentially how it's going to work for the seed rounds it will be 0 0.0075 cents per token there's going to be a two cliff month period 12 months of vesting and the FDV will be $7.5 million. For the strategic round, the tokens will be selling for one cent. They're gonna be a one month cliff and there will be a 12 month vesting period and the FDV will be $10 million. For private, it'll be uh, a cent and a half and each token and it will be a half month cliff period with a nine month vesting period with 15 million FDV. And then the public optional sale, you're gonna be able to get your tokens for two cents with no cliff or no vesting months with a $20 million FDV. So the token generation event circulating supply will be 13.8% of this 1 billion. And the market cap of the token generation event is going to be 2.636111 million dollars. So we can see a little bit of the, about the allocation for the token, right? XP net will be the ticker over here. So 21% going to the team, 10% go into the seed, 10% to the strategic round, 18.5% to private, 
Um, 3% to advisors, 5% to liquidity for market makers, 7% in the reserve, 5% to the public, and 10.5% for the ecosystem. And also over here, we can see the vesting schedule and the cliff uh, month periods like we did just discuss. Moving on, let's talk about the roadmap of the XP network, the first agnostic platform to build decentralized applications on the blockchain. So the roadmap, we are currently in Q2. So they will be having their TGE. The public optional sale is happening. The alpha version of the Move virtual machine is launching as a smart contract builder design and specifications. So they are going to be releasing a lot, including the token generation event here in Q2. So be on the lookout for this TGE and, and have your eyes on this project. Because like I said, they're going for mass adoption. They're going for billions of users. So you need to acknowledge that and realize that it has potential because of that. So in Q3, they're, you're going to be able to mint your NFTs, the XP network test net as a polka dot parachain. Like I said, they really want that polka dot parachain. So we'll see how that plays out. And they're going to be integrating the move palette for polka dot. And then later on in Q4 is when it's really going to, you know, get exciting. Crypto as a whole is going to be so exciting in Q4. I'm really pumped up for for those last final months of this year. So by then the royalty supported NFTs will be live, NFT fractionalization wrapper, NFT insurance. So all the use cases will really be going live in Q4. So be on the lookout for the XP network when this does launch, um, when the token generation event does happen. Uh, and just talking about the use cases a little bit, we can see some on the website here. We got the NFT royalties, NFT marketplace, converter, index, you name it, you're gonna be able to build it and you're gonna make it an NFT with the XP network. So the XP network will be offering a full suite for both developers who are very tech savvy and have coding experience, along with non-tech savvy entrepreneurs to launch NFT decentralized applications on multiple blockchains, on as many blockchains as there are out there that do support NFTs. So this project, like I said many times in this video, is going for mass adoption. They are with Facebook's DM. When DM does go live, I expect this product or this network, the XP network, to be integrated into DM um, on multiple different levels. And they do have, Facebook does have 3 billion active users right now that are just gonna be able to have their wallet on their already existing Facebook account. It will be easily integrated in to start utilizing all of the use cases mentioned in this video. So the XP network is definitely a project that I do have my radar on. It's built on Polkadot, very bullish on Polkadot projects probably the most promising chain in my opinion for the future when it comes to interoperability use case and just the man behind it dr gavin wood wrote the code for the ethereum virtual machine so i'm bullish on dot and dot projects hey i hope you did enjoy this video if you did make sure to let me know down in the comments below and leave a like on this video and again subscribe to the crypto lifestyle if you are not already subscribed and my name is connor and we will see you in the next video but until then your ass is on your own. Later.